Hey, what's going on out there in Facebook and YouTube land? This is James. This is Have the Conversation. I'm looking for a good light source right here. The sun is behind me, and I should be facing the sun for a good light source, but I think you guys can see me good like this. Right now, I just want to make a video echoing what a buddy said on his Instagram yesterday. He is a great tattoo artist, and that's an understatement. He's on Instagram. He was on, I think, the second season of Ink Master. Uh, Murphy, Ink Master Sebastian is his name. Uh, I just want to show him some love and respect because he said something yesterday in his Instagram feed or his Instagram, po Instagram video, he said something. He said, so he said that, um, and I'm echoing it, so everything he said is the same thing I have been saying and I've been feeling myself, so this is not to put him on the spot. This is to, this is to echo everything he said. Uh, people on Facebook have been saying that I'm bored at home and I ain't got nothing to do this and that. And the thing is, is that how can we possibly be bored at the house when there's a lot we can be doing that we're just not doing? And respect to everybody who has uh, jobs that they're not at. However, we could be picking up a new skill new hobby because YouTube, the search engine that you're on right now seeing this video has almost everything on it. You can want to learn new, new languages, new crafts, new, uh, anything, baking recipes, you name it. YouTube basically has it. There's a lot of things at home that we could be doing such as spending family quality time with each other. And that is the best thing we could be doing around spending quality time with each other. And it's warm enough outside where we can go in our backyards. We don't have to go walk the walk the block. We can go in our backyard to go on our front porch, stretch our legs. And we can wave across the street to the neighbors and stuff like that. You know? So there are a lot of things we could be doing. They were just not doing right now. Netflix has plenty of things on Netflix to watch. You can binge watch a lot of stuff right now on Netflix. And the thing is, um, I'm going to say this too. I think true boredom is when you don't have anywhere to go. When you don't have a home to go to. The people who are homeless right now, who are... Riding the buses a lot in Seattle or riding the buses a lot. They are the ones who have true boredom. They are the ones who don't have a roof to go home to, a roof to call their own. They're the ones who don't have an oven to bake goods. They don't, they're don't. they the ones who don't have internet access to watch the YouTube videos. They're the ones who don't have a TV to see what the president and what the governors are saying. They are the truly bored ones because they have nothing except people around them, which is a good and bad thing right now because the people around them have been their new families and the people around them are the ones that they have the past time with. So respect to everyone out there, the medical workers, truck drivers, all of that. Respect to all the people out there who are still working, putting in hours because we're essential. I work at the grocery store, e-commerce, so I'm helping out too. However, boredom, no. I'm sorry, I love all you guys so much. Boredom is not what it is right now. YouTube, uh, reach out to your Facebook friends, reach out to your colleagues, uh, Netflix. There's a lot to do out there that we should be doing. The grocery stores are out of baked goods, out of out of flour and things like that and sugar. We should be baking right now. We should be learning new recipes in the kitchen. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Boredom is not boredom is something that we should not be because there's so much out there to do right now in our homes. Love your families. Love on each other. The alcohol consumption went up. <laughs> oh my god. I love you guys. Get on Netflix, get on YouTube, learn a new skill. Love you guys. We're going to get through this real soon. Don't you worry about it. God is love. Love you guys.